It's me again. God, that came off so corny. I'm sorry. Let me try this again. Hi. Hey, y'all. Um, welcome back to another episode. Another day with me, basically. I'm going to do um, a draw and chill today. So, basically, I want to show you guys a new series that I'm working on. Now, I can always say if you're not familiar with my work, please, please, please go to my Instagram, um, Junquel Art, same name, or my TikTok, Junquel Art, but most of the stuff you're gonna wanna find is on my Instagram website coming soon. And if you wanna see more stuff of me, please, before we get into anything and I forget to say it, like, comment, and subscribe so you can always see my videos. So, you guys, I'm doing a new series. Uh, today. Um, I haven't done um, a series in a long time, but I wanted to get into some things that um, have kind of inspired me. Doing a new fashion illustration series, plus size fashion illustration series, series featuring body positive, sexy gamer girls. Get into it right into it you can see how I make my little stick figure into like a sassy big character I always tell people you know when they say oh I can only draw a stick figure well, the good thing is that's how I start too so this is my drawing and inking process so I'm using the reference tool in procreate to show you of course the reference that I'm looking at so you can see kind of give you a chance to see how I construct some of my fashion illustration. So to me, when I look at the PS5, for one, it looks very alien, but it's kind of sexy and sleek. Like look at this curve that it makes along here. And I was like, damn, that's sexy. That could be a dress design. So that's basically what I'm doing here. So I took this black and this black goes straight down and this is gonna be white. And this will also be black again, but it's going to be kind of mesh because I want the illusion of the shape to be here. Right, I want that to be the focus. And I'm picturing her with blue hair because you can't see it in this image, but the lights on the PlayStation 5 are blue. So I'm picturing her with blue hair like creamy skin and then like um, a, a blue visor that's lit and also her heels if you notice her heels are the buttons the famous PlayStation button controls right and also her bag is the controller all of them have the controllers as their bag and it's just something that I'm going to put in everything to keep continuity. So that's the one thing. When you're doing a series, even if all of the looks are different, you want to keep something that is going to bring continuity to everything. So for me, it's always the bags. And now we enter my favorite phase, which is coloring. I'm going to just lay down some flat color first, and then I'm going to go in and start actually shading the work I um, really want you guys to just observe this and chill so I'm not gonna talk too too much um, if this is something that you really want to see slow down in the future let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to incorporate that but this is like this is where I zone out you guys I'm just laying my color it's like a coloring book everything is on the layer underneath the line work so I'm safe there and yeah it's all fun
have most of her done now. I just have to add a couple more things in there, you know, for detail and finishing up the piece. I'm pretty happy with how it's coming out so far. Um, as I mentioned before, if I mentioned before, um, I use Procreate as my main drawing tool. Um, I used to mainly use Photoshop, but the iPad Pro is so powerful that I just made the switch over to Procreate because everything I need is literally right at my fingertips. And I'm literally spoiled by the fact that I can zoom in and zoom out by using my fingers, you know. Um, so one of the things that I like to do with my illustrations, and you, you saw me do it a little bit here, is I like to change the color of the line art so that it doesn't stand out as much. Now I made the line art in her dress you know blue because that makes sense to me and also a really cool thing about using procreate is that they come preloaded with like some really amazing brushes like one of the brushes that i love to use is luminance and luminance pretty much is a light brush. it's a light pen it's several light pens like all of these pens help create lighting and that's what you see me doing like right here in her dress banding to make it light up. So I'm just going to show you what I mean. And I use it in different places here and here. Just going to show you quickly. Uh oh, I'm on a wrong layer. I am on a flipping mask layer. That's not going to work. A new layer. You see that? It almost looks like neon light. And that's when it comes out of uh, first stroke. If I want to go over it again, it gets brighter and brighter until you get like white. And that is the straight pen. If I want to do the brush, it's a little more smooth. You keep brushing, it'll get lighter and lighter and lighter. So I'm going to delete that. So I'm going to show you in slow, in real time, what that would look like. Now that I'm armed with my light pen or my luminance pen, I'm going to go in and just add like a pop of highlights to certain areas in her accessories and her dress to make it look like light is coming through. I want to give off this cyberpunk feel as if these elements of her outfit are like supercharged and powered up like actual cables that you would see on a computer or um, on a video game themselves. So, you know, just adding a few touches of the light pen here and there really gives off that feel like it when you get procreate this trust me this brush is going to be your absolute best friend i can't tell you how much i love using it different procreate tips and if you guys are interested I can definitely do a basic procreate tip um, episode where I'm just showing you different things that you can do I can't really do them in these videos because they would just be super super long but let me know if it's something that you're interested in and I will definitely make a little procreate um, tutorial for fashion illustration but Honestly, I don't really know all of the different tips and tricks for this. I basically just learned what I need and I just kind of build that knowledge as I go. And that is like the main thing that I recommend to people. Learn the basics and just, you know, continue to build your knowledge as you go because the app itself is still evolving. 
and I swear every time they have an update they add something new that we can use and play with so don't be intimidated to jump into using this program just because you don't know a lot of things you're definitely going to learn new tips and tricks every time that you do it For a finishing touch, I always like to use the Flare Luminous Brush. Um, it kind of gives me a look that it's going to be like a, fla a light flare, almost like an exposure going off. And it gives it like this real like bling look because the girl has to be popping. We have to give her the bling. We have to give her the glam. Yes, yeah, she's a little PlayStation girl, but we have to give her the glam. So definitely take advantage of that brush you guys going to be posting your artwork on social media always be sure to stamp on your logo into your work and a watermark as well it really helps if your artwork is going to go viral be seen by the public and then once you do that you're going to go into the canvas information you're going to title your piece um, put who it's made by sign it and have all that information stored within a procreate so that when it shows up it's going to be within the code of your artwork on google so you can always back up that this artwork is in fact yours and here's the final piece thank you guys so much for watching this one i hope you enjoyed please like comment and subscribe to my page